There's a sense of urgency that, that you can feel between the Marine Corps and the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force. To not be afraid to innovate. Fire mission! Fire mission! To increase our procedures for coordination. To increase our lethality. RD-21 was a dynamic exercise. It's unlike anything that I've ever done uh, out with 3MF or anywhere else for that matter in the fact that the, the scale, scope, complexity, and the willingness to experiment, the willingness to make changes, the willingness to test different concepts was there on both sides. We're increasing our capabilities at a rapid pace. During initial stage of Resolute Dragon 21, the focus was conducting a mixed mode dispersal to key maritime terrain. We used a combination of aviation platforms, surface level lift platforms, so that was a joint effort in order to build up combat power at our EABs spread throughout mainland Japan. We want to bring every domain to the fight. We don't want to leave anything off the table. It's important that we capitalize on all the strengths and all the capabilities that the Joint Force provides in order to enable the stand-in force to be able to conduct sea control and sea denial actions. Our next phase was to link up with the Japanese, conduct a series of bilateral air assaults onto key maritime terrain, and then to integrate joint force capability and Japanese capabilities that would affect sea control and sea denial. One of the most critical aspects of RD-21 was our ability to pair uh, Japan's surface-to-ship missile regiment with naval capabilities that can sense targets. We share that information with the Japanese who are able to prosecute those targets. You can't look at the United States Joint Force or the Japanese individually. You have to pull all those capabilities together and look at it from a total. And there's some very interesting combinations of capability that you're going to now have to contend with. Once these are fused together, our ability to conduct multi-domain operations with our partner here in Japan it is a, certainly a strength. That combination increases the cost of conflict to an unacceptable level, and that's exactly where we want it to be.